Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. The door is... What do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. It's the way out of here. There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. Looks like a paper clip. There's a lot of... Just some desk drawers. Just an old desk. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paperclip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. Oh, ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. I can't move the desk. Looks like an old desk. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Looks like the workers left this one behind. Either that or they put it up before leaving. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. A spook on a window ledge. Now I've seen everything. A spook now. Alright, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. He's a balding middle-aged guy. He looks kind of scared. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax? Relax? You think I can relax? If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here? I don't know. Why don't you tell me about it? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to... Kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do.
Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while. You might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no. Just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember... falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Fall? I came out. I right. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra? Is that really you? Uh... Sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... I came to laugh at you, Alan. What? What? You're pathetic. Why do you think I left? I just wanted to look down on you one more time, just to confirm what a big loser you are. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man! Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you around all your life? You're right. You're right! Let her have it. You know what, Sandra? Screw you! I'm broke, yeah. The business is gone, yeah. Life gets tough once in a while. A marriage is a partnership, Sandra. You certainly were happy to stick around when things were good. Yeah, when I was bringing home 200 grand a year, I wasn't such a loser. But when I'm in trouble, you're nowhere to be found. But you know what? You were just dragging me down. Without you around, I'm going to do even better. I might not be much, Sandra, but I'm better than you. You're not worth dying over. Get out of here. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. Like I've got a second chance. Uh, 
first thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. Yeah, about that? I made some mistakes before. I won't make them again. Uh... I might have fallen once, but... But... Wait. I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really my wife, are you? No, I'm not. I went out onto the ledge, and I slipped. I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. Stupid. Stupid. What a stupid way to die. Hey, what happened to that can-do attitude of yours? It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Just take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Another day, another satisfied spook. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. <laughs>